Hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial for today. I hope everybody is doing well. I missed you guys. Thank you for being here with me. If you are new to this channel, this is the Needle Woman. Feel free to subscribe by hitting that red icon. And when you do that, don't forget the notification bell so that whenever I upload, you will get notifications. So for today's tutorial, we're going to be very quick about it. We're going to be discussing how to make a simple boo-boo gown. And I'll be using this lace fabric for it this is about four yards okay that is for somebody whose height is as tall as myself okay this is four yards and that's what we're going to be using for today's tutorial so let's just get on with it okay so here we go the length of my gown is 59 so i quickly fold my fabric into two equal halves I'm not going to be including any shoulder slope. The reason is because this is a boo boo gown and the shoulder is supposed to fall on its own even without the slope, okay? So now this is my fold into two. I'll quickly fold again this way. Now it is into four. I hope it is clear enough. Okay, so all I need to do now, having placed it into four fold earlier, is to just cut out the neckline. But before I do that, I'll have to determine the shoulder. So this is the shoulder measurement. Okay. And then for the my neckline, I think I'm going to be using four and a half inches. Okay. And then for the volume of the neckline, I'll be using, say, six inches, okay? This is not supposed to take up to 10 minutes of your time, okay? So here we have four and a half inches, and for the volume, we have six inches. I'll just go ahead and remove it. Now, if you don't want your front and your back to be the same thing, you can still change it, okay? Just like this. For the front is six inches. For the back, let me use three inches. Okay. So first, I'm going to cut the back. Okay, and then I'll proceed to carefully remove the front. To be careful in doing this you can still open it up to cut the front okay all right now having done this i will now open it up but before then i have to mark the center this is going to help us in taking the body measurement okay so I'll just make sure I marked the center, okay? I'll just continue down to the hemline. And don't forget, I said our length is 59 inches. All right, so for the length, I have about 61 inches, which is okay. I'll use the two inches for the fold. Now, if you notice the shoulder line, I did not split it open because like i said it's not going to have any shoulder slope this is going to fall naturally on its own now if it is a stretchy fabric you will need to maneuver this tip a little if not you will have a shape like this when you finish your work and it's not good these two places will be pointing the two ends 
I mean the two sides to the dress it will be pointing. That's if it is a stretchy fabric, but this is not stretchy. So we're going to be leaving it straight like this. But if you are working with a stretchy fabric, you will need to maneuver this side this way. I hope you see it. You either go up by say three inches or four inches at the side so that when the shoulder falls, it will still meet with this hemline. Okay? But if you don't do it, do this on a stretchy fabric. When the shoulder falls, these two sides will become longer than the center of your dress. I hope you understood me. Alright. So I will now open it and then take the body measurement. Okay. Now I hope you can see this line. This is the midpoint or the center. I spread it now into two. On this part, you have half of our fabric. I hope it's very, very clear. Okay, now my bust point is 12 inches, which is here. Okay. My half length is 16 and a half inches, which is here. My heel is 9 inches below the waistline, which is here. I will need to extend the lines. Now, of course, you know this is not a fitted kind of dress. Now, with this done, we'll now take our body measurement. The measurement I'm working with is already loose. Okay. So, for the bust, is 42 divided into 2. Since our fabric is into 2, assuming I folded it, it will be divided into 4. But this is now divided into 2. 42 divided into 2 is 21. Divided into 4 is 10.5. So you can just make the 10.5 to 4 at this midpoint so that on either side you have the same measurements. Okay. Waist is 36 divided into 4. You can make this 9 to 4 at this midpoint. I hope you see it. Okay. Right, and then my hip is 45 divided into 4 is 11 and a quarter. You also make it to fall at the midpoint. Okay, so we now connect from here to here. It's not supposed to be sharp, and then to the hip. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay. I hope you are getting it. And then you are going to take it down from the hip line, say 15 inches down. It depends on how long you want your stitch to be. Okay. 15 is okay. 18 is okay. But I think I will use 16 inches, which is here. So I'm going to stop at 16 inches down the hip line. I'll do the same thing on the other side. 16 inches. Okay. So now this is what we have. I'm going to leave this point open, okay? This is where the hand is going to pass through, all right? So I will now start my sewing from this point to the 16 inches. From this point to the 16 inches, okay? And then I'll use my bias and take the neckline and that is all, okay? When you do this, you can then sew your inner because this is a very perforated kind of lace fabric. You will now sew an inner fabric that you will use to wear. So I'll go to the machine first of all, use my bias to take the neckline and then sew along these two lines.
be very careful when you are sewing so that the net does not shift. Be very careful. Okay, people, this is it. Like I said, it's not supposed to take much of your time in making this. Okay? I hope you see it. Now you can use any inner of your choice to rock this. Even the dress I'm putting on complements it so, so well. All right. I hope you see it very well. Okay. Thank you for watching till the end. I'm sure you know I appreciate all of you. I appreciate your time. I appreciate the love you've shown me. And if you happen to be passing by my channel, this is the little woman once again. Feel free to subscribe before leaving and also touch the bell so that when I upload, you get notifications. Till we meet in my next tutorial, please take very good care of yourself. And if this tutorial has been helpful to you in any way, please thumbs up this video to encourage us and God will immensely bless you. Till I come your way next time, please take very good care of yourself. Stay safe and love your neighbor. Bye.